Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go through the three cycles of hair growth and go into more detail about each one and kind of just explain when hair grows, when hair falls out, why hair falls out, all of that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I said before, there are three stages of hair growth. So one thing to note is that these stages are actually happening simultaneously on your head. They don't just all happen at once. Like for instance, your hair doesn't all just go through the growth cycle and then it all just goes through the resting cycle. That is not how it works. So I'm gonna clear that up for you. Just keep watching. So the very first stage is the antigen phase. This is the active growth stage of hair. The cells in the hair bulb divide rapidly and this creates new hair and pushes out your hair which is what makes it grow. So this stage lasts anywhere from two to seven years. Sometimes people have an even longer phase and can grow their hair all the way to the floor but most people can at least grow their hair to like waist or hip. Most can grow it a bit farther than that but definitely anyone can pretty much grow long hair. Before entering into the next stage which is the catagen phase. This is referred to as the transitional phase and this happens when the hair has reached its terminal length. So then it detaches from the blood supply and it becomes what is called as a club hair. It remains attached to the head for only a few months more and then we move on to the telogen phase. So this is the last stage in the hair growth cycle and the club hair rests on your head while it's waiting for that new hair to come in behind it and push it out. Once that hair falls out, that's obviously the end of its life and it is replaced by that new hair which is now growing in. The reason that you may lose more hair during a shower could very well be that those club hairs are just getting loosened and going ahead and falling out rather than waiting that extra month for the other hair to push them out. Now as I said before, each strand is going through a different phase at a different time. 80 to 90% of your hair is always in the growing phase. If this weren't the case and all of your hair was in the resting phase, we would basically become bald overnight when it sheds. A lot of people tend to get confused and they think their hair is stuck in the resting phase and that's why their hair is not growing. But like I said, this just isn't possible because only about 10 to 20 percent of your hair is actually in the resting phase at one time so you should still be seeing growth regardless of if some hairs are in the resting phase for longer than usual the reason you're probably not noticing growth is honestly because hair only grows a half inch a month and if you are documenting and taking pictures and you're taking them every couple of weeks you're really not going to notice a difference your position can literally be a half inch off and suddenly you're going to think your hair is in the same spot or it might even look like it's higher up on your body and you're going to think you're losing hair. So I do definitely encourage you to document as I do. It is one of my absolute favorite things and the best way to see growth. But I also strongly advise that you don't expect to see growth within one month. Definitely do comparison pictures from several months out and I think you'll be super surprised by your one year growth photos because you will absolutely see growth at that point. So that pretty much concludes all the points I have today. This is something I've been wanting to talk about for a good while. It's something people get very very confused about. It definitely in like the long hair community people notice every little thing about their hair so they just think oh my hair's not growing what the heck but if your hair's not growing it's definitely not because it's in the resting phase it could be some kind of other issue going on in your body which absolutely you would want to get checked out at that point but I promise you 90% of the time it is growing and there's absolutely nothing wrong with you and you're just not seeing the growth because hair grows so dang slow Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If this was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my next video. Bye, guys.